A comforting visit today, the Holy Father met with the family of an Italian priest who had been missing in Syria for more than five years. Father Paolo Daolio was kidnapped in Raqqa, Syria in 2013, and today the Pope received his mother, sisters, and brother at the Vatican. Father headed a monastery near Damascus where he had been working for the last 30 years. Alan Holdren is the EWTN Rome Bureau Chief, and he is in rainy Rome. Alan, is there any news about Father Paolo's whereabouts? We don't have any news, Lauren. Uh, he disappeared uh, five and a half years ago, just basically counted past the 2,000th day uh, that his family came and, and visited the Pope today. Um, we don't have any news from Father uh, Paolo, unfortunately, and uh, that uh, basically is, is the situation as, as it exists. Alan, you interviewed Father Paolo in 2012, and that was right before he was kidnapped. Tell me a little bit about why he was in Syria, what he was trying to accomplish, and why he was kidnapped. Well, Lauren, he had a great passion for, for Syrian people, for the Syrian culture, uh, for the Arabic language. He was a Jesuit priest, he is a Jesuit priest, uh, and he had gone to study in Beirut, Lebanon, and became interested in Syria. He ended up crossing over the border finding the ruins of a monastery that he refounded. It's called the Deir Mar Musa, and he founded it to uh, increase the understanding between the different religions that were present, in particular, in particular Islam and Christianity, there um, near Damascus, there in Syria. He, in the end, was kidnapped as he had crossed over, after being sent out into exile by Assad, he was crossing back over into Syria, illegally, so to speak, uh, to help the people there. And uh, the last time he was seen, he was on, a way, on his way to speak with a, uh, an ISIS official uh, in the city of Raqqa about the release of some hostages and also the future of Christians in Syria. And that's when he became a hostage, so we think. Pope Francis often condemns the civil war in Syria, and so do much of the West, the U.S., and they denounce President Bashar al-Assad's regime. What's the Vatican's presence there? Well, Lauren, the Vatican has a Cardinal uh, Nuncio that is present there in Damascus. His name is Cardinal Mario Zinari. Uh, he's the only Nuncio in the world, which is the top diplomatic representative of the Pope to any nation, uh, that's a Cardinal. And uh, the Pope made him a Cardinal to show his concrete solidarity and attention to the conflict there in Syria. Um, the, the Vatican also works with a lot of different uh, organizations, uh, humanitarian organizations, uh, particularly those associated with the Catholic Church, uh, and they're all working on the ground to improve the situation, which has been so hard for all of the people there, and in particular also for Christians. Thank you so much for the update. Alan Holdren, EWTN Rome Bureau Chief. Get out of the rain. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren.